I'm Angela from spinachtiger.com and today we're going to make a special Italian cookie. I found this cookie in this magazine, La Cucina Italiana, and how I found this cookie was a reader uh, emailed me and said, do you have the recipe for a cookie that you pinned? Well, unfortunately, this magazine shut down in America this year, 2014, and the recipes are no longer available. Well, fortunately, I was able to go through my magazines and I found the cookie that she was looking for. I was able to email her the recipe and I got to thinking, uh, I have all of these magazines. They have the most beautiful recipes in them. There they are, these cookies. And I'm gonna make some recipes from starting with these cookies. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is cream our butter. We've got 11 tablespoons of butter or 150 grams and as usual you can always get the full recipe with a lot of little extra notes um, right where it says click for recipe at the website so you don't have to worry about catching it all and then we've got brown sugar we've got a half a cup very firmly packed that's about 97 grams now we're gonna I'm gonna mix this in the KitchenAid Now, we're going to use um, about nine pitted dates. So I bought dried dates at the store. Make sure you take the seeds. And there's a little tip on the end of each date. You don't want that in your cookie either. So make sure you take that little tip off the end. Cut them up as good as you can. It's going to be really hard because they're very sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this processor well, KitchenAid right here or you can put it in your food processor. I'm going to run it for about five full minutes to get those dates really cut up. <laughs> to that mixture we are also going to add um, a vanilla bean all of the scrapings of the seeds in it, but I had already done that and put it in my flour. Instead of a vanilla bean, you could also add two teaspoons of vanilla, if that's what you have. Um, then we're gonna add an egg, and we're gonna mix that up. And now we're gonna add the flour, and we're only gonna mix it at a lower speed, just enough to mix it, and not any more than that, because this is, a sort of a shortbread cookie and we don't want it to be tough. So I'm going to put my flour in. In the original recipe, they tell you to, you know, refrigerate for 60 minutes and then cut and then roll the edges into the sesame seed, but we're going to do it a little faster. We're gonna make logs right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably make about three logs with this. You gotta dig in there with your hands. I'll make sure it's all together. And that way we'll make the log and then we'll freeze it. See, I already have one ready. This is the way it's gonna be. Now we're gonna roll it in our sesame so we don't have to worry about doing this later. This is gonna be all done. And be generous. And now we're gonna wrap it and freeze it. And it should be ready in probably 30 minutes. So this goes into the freezer and I'm ready to cut these these are frozen and I'm just going to use my sharpest knife right now I put the oven at 350 and I have put some parchment paper on my baking sheet you don't really have to do that we're going to bake these for 25 minutes and don't worry if they aren't too even I've got a little trick at the end here I'm going to show you what I do so I've placed these about a half inch apart, quarter of an inch apart. Take a piece of plastic, put it over it, 
And then this is actually what we use for our espresso machine. It's this little weight, so you might have a meat cleaver or something else. Uh, and then I'm just going to press straight down. And then I'm going to try to make sure that I'm getting them even. And maybe I cut them a little crooked, but that's going to help me get them at the, at the same at the same size across. This is a lot easier than taking cookies and trying to roll edges. These are a delicious cookie. The dates themselves have a little sweetness. We use brown sugar. Not too much sugar in this recipe because we're going to get the sweetness from the date and then we're going to get that kind of savoriness from the sesame. Sesame seeds are something you see often in Italian cookies. And they go great with a cappuccino or an espresso. And then we're going to bake these for 25 minutes, turning them around in the oven once at 350. When we're done, this is what they look like. Hmm. These are good. It's got a shortbread kind of crunch and richness. And then it has that sesame with the sweetness of the date, a little bit of hint of vanilla, and it just tastes like a really grown up cookie. Um, not super sweet, just exactly the way the Italians like to bake. And I hope you have enjoyed this recipe from spinachtiger.com. Please take a moment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my cooking videos. And remember, we're cooking real food for real people from scratch.